I'm Brian Latimer here with Bass UTV. I'm gonna show you a age old way to catch bass that I learned when I was a kid and it still works today. Some of you don't even know what this is, but that little hunk of lead right there, it's called a jigging spoon and it still catches them. I'm gonna show you what I use, my rod and reel setups, and I'm gonna show you most importantly, how to find bass and catch them on a jigging spoon today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about some of the tools that I use when I'm fishing a jigging spoon. This is a very simple technique. As I just mentioned, this is a one ounce hunk of lead painted white, simple as it gets, right? Nothing really big, nothing fancy about it. It's plain Jane. It's nothing really to, to get all obsessive about with this deal. This one is a War Eagle spoon and it does have a swivel on, on the front of it. That does make life a little bit easier because it does spin around a lot and you can have some line twists. So one ounce spoon, white. This one, got, I got real fancy on this one and bought one that has a red tip on it. It's got a red tip on it. That doesn't even matter. Don't get too concentrated on the color. Keep it simple. When you're using a jigging spoon, you're targeting fish 30, 35 foot of water. They're feeding on shad. At that depth of water, typically colors don't matter that much. Color does matter, but the colors that matter are white and chartreuse, something that gets their attention. That's all that matters. Got one single hook on this guy. I usually use a number four round bend hook on the, on the bottom of this guy, and I usually use bigger line. I'm gonna tell you why I like to use bigger line. Bigger line files up less on your bait because it's stiffer. The other thing is bigger line doesn't get as much line twist. Just as I said, even though this bait does have a swivel on it, it's still, you're gonna get some line twist with it. And that bigger pound test, bigger diameter line does not get as many line twists as smaller pound test line. So in the context of what we're gonna be actually fishing structure wise with a jigging spoon, in my opinion, a jigging spoon absolutely excels when you're vertically fishing 30, 35 foot or deeper. I think that's when it works best. That's when it's most efficient. The reason being, you can get that bait down to the bottom to a fish that you've located on your graph or to the structure you're fishing so much more efficiently with a jigging spoon. It's aggressive. When you open the bell up on your rod, it gets down to that structure quick, fast, and in a hurry. That can be very important, especially during this time of the year that we're in right now. These fish can be very active. They can be under the boat one second and go on the next. And when you're vertically fishing, you've got to get to those fish fast or you may never get a chance to catch them again. Even though a drop shot or a Ned Meeky fish, it, it can catch those fish very efficiently too. You just double your efficiency by getting that bait down to the strike zone so fast with a jigging spoon. So I like it when I'm fishing a little bit deeper, 35 foot or deeper, 50, 60 foot is where it really excels because of the efficiency of the bait. You get a really good sonar reading on, the, on a jigging spoon, sometimes even better. So that's why I like it in deeper water. When I'm fishing 55, 60 foot of water, this bait still shows up really good on 2D sonar. So you can see what you're doing. You can see how your fish are reacting to the bait and sometimes you can just catch them a little bit better just because of that. Let's look at the rod and reel setup. This is, uh, the rod and reel setup is pretty important with this, with this bait in particular. I know everything in the bait, in the bait casting industry is, is almost always seven foot or bigger now. It's really hard to find a rod that's shorter than seven foot. For this technique, shorter rod, the better. And it can be really hard to find one. This is a favorite defender. And this particular rod right here is actually six foot six inches long. Back when I was a kid, a six foot six inch long rod, that was almost your flipping rod back in the day. But just the, the way the industry's changed, everything's seven foot or bigger. Even a seven foot rod is considered a short rod. My dad, back in the day, I'm, I'm an 80s baby. My dad was a tournament fisherman in the 80s. He liked to use five and a half foot pistol grip rods for it. I grew up throwing a jigging spoon or fishing for a jigging spoon. My dad is one of the best at this technique. A lot of the structures you're going to see me fishing today, he found this stuff with a paper map on his graph at his console and a flasher at the bow. I don't know how he did it. I don't know. He could tell you we'd be sitting on fish and he could tell you when a fish was under the boat on a flasher. On a flasher, he found these places. He could tell by the reading on the flasher when we were over a road bed or if we were marking bait. He knew what to look for with just a flasher on the bow. So 
you know, he taught me how to do all of this. He always used pistol grip rods. You're not going to find a pistol grip rod new anymore. So don't even try looking for them. The best we can come up with nowadays is just a straight handled six foot six. Even that's going to be hard to find six foot six. And I really like my dad liked to use glass rods back in the day. That's even harder to find a glass rod that that's short, that, that short nowadays. So my rod is a graphite six foot six soft action. I like something really soft for this technique. You got one treble hook, so you got one time to catch him. And if he comes off that hook, you're done. So a soft action. This is a medium power, moderate action graphite rod. That's about the best you can find in any kind of modern day tackle. Nowadays, you're not going to find a five and a half or six foot. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you want to check out Bash U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.